So welcome, if you can see me already, I can't tell you whether it's on. There I am, Woo exciting. Let's make sure we can see the comments. I've got a new stand and I'm using the Zoom. So it's very exciting. I tested it all today, so fingers crossed it all works okay. And lots of practice. <laughs> So welcome if you're joining me for the first time. I'm Fiona Fernandez. I have by few handcrafts, so just my little thing up there. And I do handmade things and I also do Stampin' Up. So I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. So it's all very exciting right now because we've got celebration on. And that means when you spend $90 or $180, you can get a free item out of here. So I'll show you more on the table in a minute when we get to that. So who's crafting with me tonight? Who have we got? I can't see who's here. <laughs> if you'd like to say hello, that would be lovely. If you don't want to, that's okay too. So I'm going to, I, we get emails as demonstrators when you join Stampin' Up. Hi, Wendy. When you join Stampin' Up, you're called a demonstrator. You don't have to demonstrate. You can just join and get the products for yourself. Hi, Lynette and share them with your friends or just, you know, get together with a few people and, and craft or just craft on your own. That's fine too. So when you do join though, you do get emails from Stampin' Up! with different things and ideas. And one of them today was a card, which I'm going to try and <laughs> mimic tonight. I always put my own spin on it though. So that's fun. So it's using the Sending Smiles stamp set. Now, that's not a celebration item, but it is using one of the celebration items, which is this lovely paper. And this is called the Silver and Gold 6x6 Specialty Paper. And it's got, this one's a silver one, so that's got different lines on it, see? It's single-sided, but you can colour it in and stamp on it. So they stamped on it. So that was exciting. And I thought, oh, I don't think to do that very often. So but I'll give that a whirl tonight. I've got a few different colours out and I thought I'd better put a colourful shirt on to match my, my card because I like this colour. This one is Bermuda Bay cardstock. I love that. Love it. As you can see, I've got matching earrings. I already had them, <laughs> but I'd like to match if I can. And then I did discover that the card actually I've got I can actually screen share which is pretty cool isn't it just a minute I'll just go find that card just find my meeting first and see if I've see if I can screen share my little picture with you let's see if it works yeah so this is the card that Stampin' Up! have done let's just see if that pops on my screen Wait a moment for it. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't have all the things in that card, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> and I was trying to work out what the paper was behind it here. But actually, can you see me using my mouse? Yes, there, that bit. And I worked it out. It's actually, I think she actually wrote it as a message, but it's some of the, I've only got the in colour papers that are in the, uh, what do you call it? They're called the In Colour Designer Series paper, but the papers like this come in all the different colour sets, which is really nice. And that's got the little tiny flowers on it. Look, so I've got these colours. I don't have the other one, the, what's that one called? Coastal Cabana or Pool Party. So we'll see what we come up with later. That's a little card. I'll just stop sharing now. And I thought at first it was, it, there used to be an embossing folder that looked a bit like that. And I thought that embossed vellum. So I've even got my vellum out. You know, I like to use vellum. Oh, hi, Athena. Hi, Diana. Oh. <laughs> I have transcript on. Yes. So if you're getting words across your screen, that is something that you can turn off in your settings I discovered yesterday. So I've turned it all off in all of mine, but it doesn't stop it coming through to you. So I think you need to go into your own profile in Facebook if you go in next to your profile into your own settings and there's a setting in there for videos so that if you're viewing videos because I'm doing it through Zoom to Facebook I think that's why it's picking up the 
um, the captions. So if you want to turn that off, feel free to do that because I'm trying to speak clearer <laughs> so that my captions come out correctly. But when I was practicing yesterday, oh, that wasn't happening. So I'll work on that. But yeah, there is a section. I did it yesterday. It's, um, yeah, up. look for your profile picture up in the top corner of your screen and find your own settings in there. It's called under videos. And you can turn your captions on or off. And I know in YouTube you can do that too because I've done that before. So sorry about that. <laughs> Hope it doesn't distract you too much. <laughs> okay, so that's enough about my little picture. <laughs> got my phone up there. I've got cameras everywhere. Oh, party time. I'm going to show you my desk now. Ready? Oh, is anyone crafting with me? Oh, they're looking okay to you, so I must be speaking better today. That's good. That's good. Good, good. Okay, we'll go to desk. Woohoo. There we go. Now, I don't think you'll get to see my face anymore this way. I haven't worked out how to do that. I don't know if I can do that. So it does it when I screen share, but it doesn't do it when I go to the desktop. So there's all my information if you're looking for that. Uh, if you want to shop with me, fiannafernandes.stampinup.net. And you click shop now. There's a whole lot of tabs across the top of the page shop now let me think what are they all about me join my projects join host and specials so if you can't find the current host code like if it's right on the edge of a month my host code for the next month i usually do it about a day before the next month and you'll find the current host code in the specials section of my stampin up website Try and put it here as well and put it out there a bit. Oh, okay, so you're making more sleeves. Busy lady. And that's where you'll find that. The shop is under shop now. And if you want to join, you'll get a free, it's always fun in stamp, in, um, what do you call it? Celebration. When celebration is on. They usually have a join special most of the time. And of course, we've got one at the moment. So that's this lovely diary. No, oh look, it's called the Making Plans. But you can call it whatever you like. You can make it a planner, you can make it a journal. It comes with all these pages with weekly priorities in it. You can write things. Look, I've even written in August. Oh, <laughs> I started. There we go. Things I want to buy. And then it's got other little pages in there. Let me go to the back of one. So it comes with all of these for 18 months worth of diaries that started in July. And then you get a monthly review page. You've got a blank page that you can, you can do whatever you like. You can design cards on there if you want to. You've got a note page. You've got a list page. So you could list whatever you like. So there's a little grid page. I did see something in my travels this last week or two, looking at things like this and in, in the Facebook page and another book I borrowed, all about using dot points and everything and using something like a grid to do, um, keep track of your habits. So if you're trying to work on doing some habits or just, you know, looking, monitoring yourself and saying, how much am I doing that? Like, how often do I have a cup of coffee? I might do one of those. And every time you have one, you sort of colour the square in. And then you'll get to see over the week what you're doing and whether you want to change anything or not. So that's pretty cool. And at the end of the year, they've got one. I don't know if I've got it in here or left it out. But they've got one that sort of looks at the whole year as well, like a yearly review. But you can add pages to it as well. There's little books that come with it, three little notebooks, lines, dots, and blank. blank yeah, I think so. Grid. There might be a good one. All these stickers, look at all this. So you can decorate it as you go. And then, of course, there's a stamp set, but I've left that over on the table. There's a stamp set, so I'll just pull this out. I'll just pull the brochure out instead to <laughs> show you. So the stamp set, yeah, I'll come up a little bit closer. Looks like that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So you can stamp things. You can make cards with the stamp set too. So you can use it for whatever you like. It's a pretty good deal. It doesn't come with the pencils that I've got in mind. I've, 
you can buy them from Stampin' Up! once you join. And or you can use any pens you like and the stickies and stuff. And there's other things that actually coordinate really nicely with it. There's a couple of other card sets that you can get. Just pop that back on the floor, which I did show last week, I think, and the week before. I think I've left them all over on the table. Um, but just check with me or have a look on the website if you want to see more about that or send me a message. I'd be very happy to chat about it. So this is the celebration. I've been working through it and using different things. And if you watched my unboxing or if you didn't, go back and have a look at that because I've opened up the box with this absolutely gorgeous paper in there. I got that this week. That was very special. These ones here um, I found out today uh, have already run out. So that's the, the pool party. This one I used the other week. They're already all gone. So if you didn't get them, oh, sorry, you missed out. So they are, that's all gone, all gone, all gone now. They are while they last, while stocks last. So if you are interested in any of them, that way, <laughs> make sure you get on there and get it. So I'm going to use this paper tonight and I've actually got the stamp set out as well as the other stamp set. Fiddle with that. And I showed you this one, was that last week? I don't know, I can't remember now. It's all, all the weeks blend. And that was a lot of fun. I've seen some people make little caravans. They're so cute. They make them 3D. I haven't played with this one yet, so maybe we'll do that. i better write that down if I'm going to do that next week. Let's do that next week. Let's get a sticky. All right, next week. What's next week? Is it August next week, everybody? First week of August. There we go. Let's stick that one in there. Do that next week. Now, this one is the host set. I don't have the host set, but that's what it looks like. A pomegranate, perfect pomegranate, and you can cut it out with your snips. So that's if you host a party or spend over five hundred dollars or get five hundred dollars in sales. It has to be five hundred dollars or over to get that for free. Unless you join special. That's the catalogs, and you know the mini catalogs still current till December. So if you want any catalogs, if you don't have one already, you don't have a demonstrator. I have more catalogs. I just got some more. <laughs> right, and I've got a few things out on the table. So let me see. I'll have to try and get that thing up on my screen <laughs> so that I can see the card I'm playing. Let me look at that. I'll try and try anyway. So they've used, I don't think they've used the Bermuda Bay, but I really liked it. They've used Coastal Cabana. I'm just looking at the picture and guessing, okay? But, you know, we can always change it. So let's go with that. Put one of those out. Nina's kicking along, getting better. That's good. Here. And the people not well at the moment. It's not good. Right now I'm going to do my score. I usually score down the bottom of my board just so that I keep my score blade at the bottom and my cut blade at the top. Stamp pads everywhere. <laughs> A few stamp pads out there. I didn't stamp anything yet. I just got them all out ready. What will I do? All right, let's just fold that. It's hard, a bit hard to do that on there. Fold that over here. Let's put that one back. And what else do we want out? We want out now. I don't have that paper, so I'll just show you what it looks like. And we'll do something different for this one. So it looks like this. See the little pictures on it, like little flowers? That was the background paper they had. So we'll just do something else. And I think I'll use a bit of vellum because I do like them. There was it, like I said. 
Sorry. <coughs> I've got to have a cough. Hang on. Oh, twisted the wrong way. Oh, don't worry. I've got a bottle of water. Oh, that's one of those eye watering coughs. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. That's a bit awful. Oh, just caught me trap. <clears throat> right. Where were we? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Must have been a bit of fluff. <laughs> a bit of fluff or dust or something. Actually, I'll cut this down first. I'll cut this one. I've picked out the silver one to do. They've used the gold, but I think I'll use the silver one. Why not? And I think we'll go to nine and a half for this little exercise. And because we want to be able to put something on and move it. So I'll cut a bit off that as well. So if I go to nine and a half, that's one and a half less than normal. So if we go to one and a half, that's 130. And we're going one and a half here. <clears throat> Oh dear me. <laughs> I've been fine, honestly. <laughs> Just, <clears throat> I don't know that <laughs> there's something caught in my throat. That looks all right. Oh, do I want it a bit shorter? That one's a tiny bit shorter. I think I'll go a tiny. Just want to try and make it look like there's a little bit. Now, even if you trim that little tiny piece off, keep them so I keep a little box now with all my little bits and pieces in there. I just keep them handy I'll just pop it over here now. so that if you're making cards and you haven't got time to cut everything or you can't think what am I going to do you can pull out your little box of bits like this little bit as well you could even put them inside your card when you put your thing in there <clears throat> If they're bigger bits, I put them back into my packet. Like this. If they're little tiny bits like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's why I cough a bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've got over there. Get those eyes out. That's how we're going to use them. Yeah, they're just handy to have extra little strips around. Right, let's get out of here. So I'm going to see if I can stamp it with white. I've got my little goodie bag over here. My little goodie bag. I've oh, still got that bit of page. <laughs> We cut it too small the day I was using it. On that, oh, there's a tree on that. Look, got a tree embossed on that already. Another day. I have to get a fresh piece out. There we go. So we'll probably go the same size, I think, and then we can. What did I end up doing? 13.5 and 9.5. No, 9. Like to 9.5. Rather cut it down and go, I cut it too small. But we'll do that in the same. Let's just have that one will sit there. And then this one will sit there. That's good. Tell them away. Right, so we've got a cup. Oh, we want a white piece from the middle, don't we? That's my little white pieces. Hang on. Another box here somewhere. I don't think I used them a lot. Okay. Cut one. Right, let's get a piece of basic white out. Mm. 
And we'll do that for the center. And we'll go to, uh, we'll do it so that we've got five mils around, so that within 0.85. And there's another little piece. So put that in the little box of goodies, box of white offcuts. And we'll go to nine and a half. Sit inside there nicely. How are my captions coming along? Anybody still got their captions turned on? Oh, we might be able to use that piece in a minute. Let's see what happens. Okay, I have to check these dies. We're going to have to do some die cutting as well. It's too small. <laughs> we'll find some more, don't worry. A few pieces here. And we'll have to die cut that piece. Right, good on that one. Whoa, look at that. There we go. I cut that one and we've got to we'll cut another one. What have they got? They've got a pink piece. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to use pink. We'll decide that after. And we'll need this one. Die cut a piece of this. Oh, well, they lost it all then. They lost a lot then. Oh, nearly fell on the floor. Find a piece that's already trimmed down. It's too small. We'll use that one because it's already a bit odd. Lots of different things in there. Right, so that one's going to get cut on there. That. Go that way. So I'm just going to cut that off because I don't want to put the whole piece of board through it. I don't like putting the extra piece through because sometimes the die plate, because it's been used quite a bit by one, it can mark the board a bit. I try and I might even cut that down a little. I'll even go a bit more. Do we want anything else to cut? Let's have a look. They don't have other, they've stamped mainly and not done more die cuts. I think we'll just stick with that. That one and that one. All right, so I'm going to cut that down a bit more. That a bit closer to it. I can use the other bit for something else. You can put it through our mini this way. We'll get to our stamping. Let's do that as first. Mini bits together. Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> Just checking. I won't do these at the same time. I'll do one at a time. If you're doing it on the big machine, do them all together. To move the whole table. Ready for a bang in. <laughs> pop. No, it didn't pop. Usual. Okay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Oh, now look, you could even keep that piece and mask with it. I'll just put that over there. Just grab your. Wait a minute. I'll get this off. Maybe. 
things like this. Just get you take your pick tool carefully, very gently. Lift one end of it up like that. Oh, now I know Diana. <laughs> Is Diana still here? <laughs> I know, I forgot to put that sticky stuff on it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, constantly forgetting that. Oh, don't pull it too hard. It's going to stretch. All right, we just got to be really careful with that one. Just a little piece in there. Yes, there's some adhesive sheets you can get. That you stick on the back before you die cut it out. One day Fiona will remember that before she doesn't. Anyway, that's, I tend to just use the glue, the Tombow glue, liquid glue. But it is possible to use the other. Okay, so then you can just get your bits up here. Use your little tool. You want that plate? <laughs> There's Diana. <laughs> oh dear me. I'm just not used to using them, so it just doesn't occur to me. It's like, thank you, Fiona. For that particular word, the sending, I think it would be very good. the other one and this one is not so much of a drama because it's just the outline that one just comes up. when we stick it together we put it on there like that isn't that gorgeous super pretty that color goes away where do we get them from? <laughs> now with these sort of things, it's good to draw around them so you can remember where to put them back. But I didn't. I think it was like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll need one of these afterwards. What have they used? A card to say hello. Where is my stamp? Hard to say hello. Let's see which one that fits in. Or you could do a note of thanks. Okay, I think it's a small one. <clears throat> this one. I might do an sending a note of thanks. I might do that one. They've used a card to say hello, just that one. So they fit in this little frame here. Let's get that one up and we'll just decide what colour. So they've used a pinky colour, but I guess I'm going to use that. Well, maybe I should. Got Calypso Coral out and Blushing Bride. <clears throat> so maybe it's Fresh Freesia. Let me see what they've got out. I'll just grab my Fresh Freesia. Sing a song or talk for, some, for a second while I just duck over and get it. Yeah, you do Sigley too, Wendy. Grabbing my fresh freezer. Gotta find it first. What to do with it? <laughs> Here it is. Found the fresh freezer. Got all tidy the other day. Put everything back. Okay, so we just want a little piece. Let's see what we've got in my stash through the packet. See if I've got small, I've got a piece that I've cut something out of. While we're at it, we'll just do that, I think. Just trying to see how big that is. I'll just make that a bit bigger. Maybe 
used. I think they've used ooh, fresh freezer or uh, I think it's Highland Hip to stamp on it. Or we could try both. Hang on, let's try some fresh freezer first. Do that for a second. Let's put the baby over there. Going to stamp it first. What did I say? Let's do it, and do it down the bottom there. We find a block. We need a block. Block these. Need a thanks. Now, just you can check with this grid paper. So you can buy the grid paper if you wish to. The small grid paper for the Stamparatus and there's also the larger grid paper because that didn't go on quite straight then. You can put it on your paper first. I think that's a bit tricky because it's sticking to me. Oh, with this stamp, they do stick to you a bit. But a polymer. I'll push that one down and push that one down. You can push it onto the paper. So look straight. <laughs> Anyone see that? <laughs> yes. um, I don't think I can make it bigger. Okay, I think it looks straight there. It's as straight as it's going to be. All right, sorry if I've stuck my head in there, but I had to look over it. Okay, and then stick your stamp on it. And hopefully we got that nice and straight. Well, let's try this colour first. And I think that'll fit there just nicely. The other thing to use when you're doing this is your board. Stamp and pierce mat. Underneath the photo of polymer stamps. Now, I might just stamp that first on a scrap because I haven't used these stamps with me. And I just like to make sure they're working right. And I'm not sure if we'll stick with this colour or whether we'll go with another one. Put that there. We want it to go in a little bit just to give me a bit of movement. There one looks darker. I think they've used. Look, it doesn't really matter. You just make it up anyway, but we'll just have a look at the other colour. I've got highlight over here. Just stamps under there. We'll just do two. And I think they've used that. Looking at the picture. We'll use that one. Back on my stamp set. Okay. Now. Ooh, where do we start? <laughs> Look at all those stamps. <laughs> we might leave out the Highland Heather one. So whether they've stamped Highland Heather or Fresh Fear. Ooh, tricky one. We'll come back to that in just a second. Just die cut this little one out. I'm just going to trim that off on my cover. Like put it through my mini. See that? Just trying to line that up. I hope I've got it right. 
put it on the diagonal because they go through a little bit better like that. Push it down hard to hold it in place. Slides a bit on the paper, this thing. Okay. So while we're here, Let's so just do the other one. And we'll have two to play with. Ready for the next card. Should I say another card? So I keep, if I do this sort of thing with the stamping, I keep the extras in one of my little boxes as well. So again, when you're ready to make a card, you've got all these bits and pieces already. Oh. Over there, over there. Over. And where's my dies? There they are. And a packet so we don't lose it. Right, I'm not sure if we'll get to this one. We might use that on another one. We'll see how we go. Just depends how much time. <laughs> I always say, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to be quick. <laughs> uh, and then I get carried away enjoying myself. I'm going to get carried away in just a second. All right, I'm going to clean all these because I haven't cleaned them all. All the plastic off. I have washed the chamois, see? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> right, everybody is washed. So I work with my chamois on my lap in that little bolt in this little case, and I, that way I can just put my stamp straight on it and clean it. And the other thing I was going to say before we, where did my card top go? I was wondering whether to stamp the vellum with some white. I'm not sure how it will go. Let's have a look at the flowers. Okay, so this little one here looks like, it could be like these, a little bit, a little bit like this paper which is they've used this sort of paper in the background. Ah, so that could work. Yes. Let's give that a whirl. See what it looks like anyway. It's my board. Now I want to go off the page a bit. So we don't need to stand the whole thing. So you'll only see a very little bit of it at the top. And the bottom. Just the edges of it. We'll see. I don't know if I've got enough. My ink pad looks a bit pink. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> Let's just stamp it on here. <gasps> works, it works. Oh, it works. Oh, I can make my own. Look. Yes. You'll have to let it dry or just heat set it. And you don't have to make it to anything really because we're not even going to see that bit there. Might do that bit there again. More in there. Oh, that works well. Can you see that? Look. Look at that. Yeah, I'll come up here. Look. Whoops, where's the camera? That's working well. Really happy with that. That's exactly what I wanted. And I'll just come down here. I don't need to do the whole side because you won't see it all. I'll do one more there. Oh, 
that one didn't work very well. Now we want to come around. Oh, I'll just keep going there. Has anyone done this before in the vellum? I think that's enough. Because once we put our thing over the top of it, like that, put that there. It's going to be like that, uh, like that. Let me see a very little bit of it. Just do a little bit more here, just in case. Sneaks through. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yum. Oh. Okay, I'll just wipe that off. Had a good wash. There you go, look at that. And we'll just put that to dry. Leave it to the side and then if it's not dry when I'm ready for it, we'll just use the heat tool. I'll stick it up on the laptop. On the laptop dryer. <laughs> it gets warm on the laptop, so I stick things up there sometimes to dry them. Just at the front there. Not blocking anything. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. All right, let's fold that over. Get white on everything. Now, this piece. This one is going to be done on the card itself. So let's pick a flower to start with. What have we got? We've got one of these. Now, if we use that little one, oh, yes, they did use that little one. I'll leave that over there. Right, oh, here we go. This should be fun. <laughs> now, did they use this colour or that colour? I know, just wing it, Fiona. Wing it. We are going to get some pool party out. I think pool party's in there. Not all crystal cabana. But it could be. Who knows? We'll stamp on the paper a little bit as well, I think, just to get a look at it. There. Let's see what that looks like. See, that comes out quite dark. And then the second off is light. So I wonder what this one's like. I'll try. Might not be pool pipe after all. Let's try that. that. Did that to get the moisture off it. Okay, so if I go Crystal Cabana one, and then one, ah, see, you get that nice light. That's what they've done. Depends what effect you want. So if you want to go with the, a really bright card, do the first stamp. And in saying that, which is what I often say, <laughs> do two at once. No. Okay, now we're talking about it. Do a gold one. How about we just stamp on this as well? Yoki. If I do it about the same. I'll just put a line on there just so I know where to go to. Yeah, my edges are. Right, oh. 
We'll do one dark. What sort of a circular thing? So we're going to put one about <laughs> about there, and then another one about there. Here we go. Then we've got one light, one dark. Now do we use that fire again? Maybe they did use it. It's hard to see behind all the bits and pieces. Do it again. Okay, so then it goes, I think it's like that. You're going to get your head around this one, then that one. <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. Dark one, dark one. Light one. Done. Right, three flowers. Next. All right, what's the next one? Let's see what we'll do next. Um, put that away. Have we got next? How about we do next the little? We'll do it fresh, Fraser. So we go with this other one. Which one is it? Ah, it's one of these ones. And this one, I think. And that. So, oops, that didn't work today because I was off the table there. Right. What? Oh, hi, Amanda. Sorry. I've been carried away over here in the corner. <laughs> Just saw you there. How long have you been there? Four minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're just i'm just trying to copy the card copy and what's it called case it i'm doing a dark and a light dark and then a light so i don't waste all my ink ah oh, now the only thing we're doing it this way on the stripey card is i'm getting a few extra stripes on the light one so i'd say that's the downside to doing it that way okay but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it looks great. Right, there's another one over there. If you were doing it on flat paper, it wouldn't do that. All right, this one over here. Somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. And the idea is that we're just doing a whole lot of flowers in a, in a sort of a roundy pit. And then we'll do this other one. Can't see it now. There it is. A lot of flowers on there. Okay, this one. Do one of them on there. And then this one has a flower going that way. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, that's those ones. Okay. Next. <laughs> what do we got next? We've got oh, another one of the different. Oh, what colour is that? I think I see pale papaya. I think. Which flower is it? I think it's. Oh, oh, I don't know which one it is. Hang on. I've got to study it a little bit. Maybe it's this one. Must be this one. This one. Aha, yes, it's that one. 
Okay, what have they got out? I think it's pale papaya. Let's grab that. Pink. Pale papaya. Okay. On. Whew. Hang on, I've got to make sure you close your lids properly, okay? Otherwise, they'll dry out. Right, see, so, oh. Let's get some pale papaya onto my paper. Is that what it is? Yep, I think so. Now, which way did it go? That way? Okay. I've gone off the edge of the paper. Nope. <laughs> there we go. And there's another one. Now, is there one there? Oh, I can't see that one. There's one under here. And this one over the other side. Work that out there. So they overlap a little bit in some places. I'm just trying to work out if there's one on the, over this side, but I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Oh, no, I put more ink on it. Whoops. Hang on. Let me get the ink off. <laughs> we don't want one bright flower, do we? <laughs> That'd look funny. Then I'd have to do more bright flowers. Right. Next. Next. We've got to put some leaves on. We've still got a few more flowers to go yet. The new one. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, I think they've oh bling. They've got oh, I just saw the bling. The bling says little flowers. The um and the bling, the coloured bling. I can't think of the name. Right, what colour do we want these ones? I think we want. Are oh, they? Oh, you know what? I've just noticed. Yes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Rabbiting on. Right, so oh, lucky I've got some of those in my stash already. I hope I've got enough left. Look, I've used some for classes. <gasps> Just enough. Look at that. Some of the bling on this card are these. And these and these. Oh, lucky we've got just enough. Woo. I just thought they were stamps. Well, they might be, some of them might be stamps. I think the. Actually, yeah, what colour? It's the Calypso Coral. It's stamped in this little one. That one. Oh, that's bright. Oh. Well, they're going to go on the bright card. Okay, so this one. Maybe they got it. That way. Put that up the top. Side by side, but I'm working on them this way. Hang on. Let me turn that around. Right. Let's try that again. And one up there. This one over here. This one down here. Where's that one? <laughs> oh, where's that one? It's sort of in there. It's fun anyway, trying to work it all out. And I'll end up with a couple of cards afterwards. That's all of them. Okay, we've got to do 
centers of the flowers right. and some leaves. Let's get out my, you know, what color is that? Might be, I can't decide whether it's this. Oh, I've got my daffodil out. Maybe we'll try the daffodil. I've got a little daffodil. Right, let's find the centre of the flowers. Which one is it? Mm -mm. A couple here, look. There's one there, one there. One's got the dotty bits down. Ah, okay, so I think this one, the dotty bits down, goes on that flower. And this one, there's a little tiny one there too. That must go in the little ones. Okay, yep, that's it. And then that one goes on that flower. And the little one is on this flower. Okay, try not to lose that. <laughs> then maybe. Little block just for you. Oops, it is. Where did it end up <laughs> on the side? Oh, dear me. There we go. Okay. So that one needs to be actually, they're all about the same color, which is interesting. Okay, let's try that one over here first on my paper. That looked like pretty dark. Let's try this color too. Quite dry. Yeah. Trying the so saffron. So it might be gentler. I actually think that might work better. Leave the daffodil over there. Okay, it's a funny shape. Oh, missed it. <laughs> I missed the middle. Uh oh. You'd think that would be easy, wouldn't you, that little piece? I must have it around the wrong way. Um, what about those ones? Yep, they've got them in them as well. Yeah, it's not so bad if you go a bit slower. Just go a bit slower. Now I'll kind of do that one. Quite good doing the one and then the two. All right, set all those little ones. So, that back on its paper before we get stuck on something else. Right, and then this one has. So this one, if you can see that, it's got shape to it. So check that out. So it's sort of like the shape going into this flower here. I think painting days. Or just looking at a flower. I think it goes like that. I hope so. <laughs> I can't really tell because it's covered up by the word sending on there. But on the packet, it's actually sitting like that. So I think that stamps into there. That's how I'm going to do it. you end up with it like that. Probably a bit closer to the petals might have been better. Too much colour there. Or white. I've left a bit too much white space. Let's see if we can get a little bit more off the edge of that one. I'll put a bit more on the edge of that one. Just so it's a bit closer to the bit there. Right. Wow. It's good. 
How's everyone going out there? How's your crafting coming along? Anyone crafting still? Double dip to better go back to this one. I'll have to stamp off because I haven't got any more to do. Here, we'll do one over here. <laughs> Just stay thinking about that when you're doing it. Wow, look at that. Okay, what have we got left? What do we have left? Uh, leaves. We've got to do leaves. Now, what colour leaves? They look like they're, they look like they're green. <laughs> green leaves. They actually look like... I'm thinking they're pear pizzazz. Probably that's on this somewhere in the email. What colours they use. Rightio, what have we got there? We've got a couple of leaves here. I think we've just mainly used this one. That one looks like. Oh, look how dark that is. Okay, let's go. Where have we got one? Mm. Let me look at the shape of that. I think they've got one through sort of there out to the corner. Next is in here. And some of this is covered up, so you don't need to worry about that too much. The, the sending gets put across it. And mine might be a bit closer, I think. What other leaves have we got on here? Just wondering, I'm going to hit that flower, so I might just wash that one off a little bit. Just going to wash the end of this one off. I don't want it to hit the flower. Over there. Because then we can see the flower. Okay, cool. Wipe that one off. I've got three. One, two, and another one. There's another one down here. One goes off the page. <laughs> Obviously, I've done a different size. <laughs> oh, you're having copper? Good. Who's you cutting your sleeves? Oh, wow, you've been busy. All right, I think that's all of the stamping. Our leaf back on our sheet. You can actually see it on here. That's pretty cool. But the packet will have... Okay. So if you want to, you can put them all on there. And then you know if you're missing one. See, there's another leafy one there. There's some branchy ones. And we don't have to stamp the word sending because we've die cut it. Alrighty then. Let's just have a quick look at this. Wait. I just might cut down the gold one as well and have a look at that. Mm. 
see how that one looks. Where did I go? <laughs> a bit. And this one's off a little bit. I've got too much space right here, so I might actually trim that one down a little bit more just to balance it out. Get a different card. Might do this one. So that doesn't look bad at all, does it? On that color. Wow. I think if I do the light one again, I I didn't want to waste the ink, which is why I did it that way. But I think if I did it again, I would do the first stamp onto plain white card, not the stripy card, because the stripy gave us stripes into the next stamp, which did that to it. It doesn't matter that much. But just that's my tip. That's my tip. Where's my white piece? Let's see if it's dry. Oh, it feels pretty dry. Oh, it's still a little bit damp. I might just heat to all that. Now I did get my, I did get the embossing kit and I'll tell you what's in that. I'm not going to emboss, but I mean, and you could emboss that too. You could put clear powder on it. So this is the embossing set. And it comes with a little tray and you can chip your powders back into your little containers. It's got these tweezers that you can use because they've got like silicon tips so you won't burn yourself when you're doing your heat setting. Is cool, cool. No, it's actually really hot. That's why. <laughs> That's why we need it. I do it. Welcome. Who said they made another hundred watt? Athena. Oh my goodness. What? Hundred. Wow. I have been really busy. Let's put this on here. You can use your tweezers to hold it without sticking your finger on it, which is cool. I'm not going to put them in it, but normally if you're embossing something, you could use your tweezers to hold. I don't want to get the work on there. So this little board I've got is um, a melamine tray and it's heat resistant. These. Okay. Oh, it's turning automatically. <laughs> That's handy. I'm making that card that we got in an email this morning. I think that one's still a bit. No, I think that's okay. Just be careful you don't rub it. This is back down there. Everything over. So you just have to make sure it's dry enough to, it's still a little bit wet in some points. I can see there. But I think it'll be all right as long as I don't scrape it. It's so pretty. So. Okay, so we'll put the middle in in a minute too. So should we stamp something in the middle? Probably. Looks like a sort of card that needs something in the middle, doesn't it? That's what we could have done was stamped in the middle. We're not going to put that in the middle though. All right. I'll just do, I think I'll just do one. Flower in the middle. 
Not do not do some leaves. And one little flower. I need to ink the whole thing up if I'm not going to use the whole thing. And yes, I should have got another piece of board out to do the middle of the other one too. I haven't got one. I haven't got one handy, so I'm just going to stamp it off. Stamp it off. Oh, I missed a bit on the edge, not. Joys of polymer stamps, you can just go back and do it. Look. And we just want a little flower. See, I'm not sure if I should use that one or the other one. This one. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. That one. I think I'll do that one. There we go. Paper, paper, yeah, paper. It's Sorry, it's gorgeous. I'm whispering. <laughs> Again, I've had these stamps sitting here for a while. And do you know what? I couldn't find the dies today. I was like, oh, what have I done with them? I'm sure they're up on my shelf. Sure enough, I'll tell you what happens with these dies. So this packet size, it's just a tiny bit. It just sat in a tiny bit and I just couldn't, it just went in between things and the stamp cases sat together like that. And I couldn't see it. Found it eventually though. That's good. Okay. So we're doing sending a note of thanks. Uh -uh. I'm just looking at all these two to see what's on here. Let me hear and so. Mm -hmm. so you could even use the thing off here. You you did it. I'm sending a note of thanks. You did it. Mix and match the stamps. It's up a bit. I think I'll leave it blank. Okay, let's go. Okay, so with the vellum, we don't need to put much glue on that because it's going to be, we just want it in the middle, really. Just remember we were putting it so that we have the top sitting, sitting out. Now do we want the silver one on this one? The gold. The gold does look nice. Actually, I went silver because I like silver, but actually looking at the gold, it's actually popping out really nicely. Now that I've done the pale one, I sort of think I'll do the darker one. What's everybody think? Do you like the silver one or the gold? Yeah, I'll just pop it on there, sit it on there. That's what the silver one looks like. And then once we've put all that on, 
see what it looks like with this on it before we decide totally. Right, that goes there. So that's the silver one. I actually think the sending gets lost on the darker one. And I'm wondering whether I need to use the darker one with a different colour background of the card. The darker one, the darker one is lovely, but do we lose the sending too much in there? Well, it looks like on the screen actually. Sitting here looking at it in front of me, it sort of loses it a bit. Whereas on there it pops because it's matching the background of the card. What's that look like on screen? I do like the gold. It looks lovely. I'm just waiting for my screen to catch up. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the darker one does look better, doesn't it? Especially on screen, it looks better. The gold. We'll go the gold. What did Wendy say no to? What did you say no to, Wendy? Were you thinking about that? What you said no to? <laughs> I'll just stick this inside. Stuck it inside first. Right. I'll just use our brown folder to smooth the edges of that down. And I've got a couple of rough bits there, so I'll just get rid of those in a minute for my little emery board. Oh, no, I'm not sure what Wendy was saying, though. No to the silver. <laughs> the gold, yeah, I think the gold looks better too. After all that, I'm going to go the gold. Now, I'm just going to be careful. I don't think I'll use liquid glue on that one because I don't want it to show through where the gold bits are. And I know on some of the, I might put a little bit more glue underneath here though, just to hold those corners down a bit more. We need a little bit, so we should have gone out a little bit wider. Let's hold that for a second. No, it doesn't get lost. The sending that is. I like it on the gold. Okay, cool. We'll do something else with the silver one later. Okie dokie. Push that one down. Now, I think I will use a bit of this. Amber Seal Plus. On the back of my... Oh no, you just got to get it going. Okay. Do it on your silicon mat if it won't start. Like that stuff. Amp and seal plus. Okay. Let um, me just put that one. I think that one's pretty straight. Is that one straight? <laughs> it's hard to tell when they go. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be crooked, like, because you've got the other one crooked. No, I think I'll do it a bit more crooked.
like that. Such a pretty car. This will be it tonight. I think we'll just do one card. I don't know if they've got that up on dimensionals. I don't think they have. I'll just stick it there. I'll just use a bit of Tombow. And then you can use it on that. I'll just put a little bit on. But yeah, if you had adhesive sheets on here, it would stick the whole thing down really nicely. <laughs> Move that away from that bit of glue. I'm doing it on here because if you get glue on the mat, it doesn't matter. It'll just come off again. Don't squeeze your bottle too hard. You don't want much on there. Okay, that's about it. It's stuck to my finger nicely. <laughs> oh, let me go. The other thing you could do is stick it onto your your word before you stick it on the card. Oh, I've just looked at it. You know what they've used? I just realised they've used the same paper that they used underneath here. I don't have that colour. So you can get the DSP in the colours. If you look in your annual catalogue, and I'll just stick this on and then I'll show you where it is. In your catalog. In the DSP section. Let's get the back of the DSP section. Yeah. Page 135. And you've got the in-colour ones there, which is the ones I've got that I was showing you earlier. And uh, it's this one here, so I'd be using one of these. The Coastal Cabana. You can get the brights, neutrals, regals and subtles in those papers. And they've used a bit of that. I've just noticed that there, behind the set word sending. So it's a bit nice. You know, the look that we've created... <laughs> around the edge. I could have done that on that bit of cardboard, but I didn't notice it until I was just sticking it down. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay if it's a bit different, isn't it? All righty, we're nearly there. Okay. All right, I'm going to stick this one on the new dimensional. When I find it. with a new packet to open up. Just want a few on that. Missed it. Missed the dimensional. There it is. And then we're going to get those blingy bits on.
What is this one here? Yeah, little blingy flowers on. Oops, popping things everywhere. Right, well, we'll just put that one over there. Get things out of the way a little bit. A bit crazy in here. Just throw it on the floor. I back in this morning, you know. Again. You're heading off. Okay. Thanks for that. Thanks for joining me. I'm nearly finished. <laughs> I'll post it on my page later. And that one goes. Oh, I've put a dimensional there. I probably shouldn't have put one there. I normally put them around things like that. So I should have put one there and one here, not in there. <laughs> you later okay let's get blingy it's very pretty i'm glad i got that email let's see what we can do with the flowers i have okay what have we got got the yellow one there a little yellow one Just trying to see where they've got them on the card. <laughs> uh, there. Isn't it funny? I didn't even notice these at first. I thought they were all part of the stamps, but this goes so well with it. I don't know, that was a small one. I think. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's put them on. One, two, three, okay. Any more? It's another one, another one up there. Up there. Another one up there. I think that's all the yellow ones. And then there's some purple ones. Down there. This is good. I didn't have to think about where to put the bling. And I've got enough. Look at that. Let's see. Is that all of them? I think it is. One, two, three, four purples. There you go. Was there any of those colours? Mm -mm -mm. Trying to see if there's any of the, the red ones. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. What do you think? Do we need more bling? Anybody need more bling? <laughs> it's nice to have bling, isn't it? Let's get this other card out. Get a piece of paper back in the packet. Doesn't want to go. Oops. Oh, I've got one. Just use it out. Okay. Alrighty then. So that's what we've used. We've used the sending smiles and Silver and gold specialty paper, fun flowers, resin shapes. And my little card. Right, how's the film going? I'll leave it there tonight. I think I bumped my table. <laughs> Doesn't take much, does it? But all the time. Okie dokie. There we go. And because I've got that Zoom thing going tonight, I can come back and say goodbye to you all. Is that exciting? Yeah. 
flip a few things. <laughs> Okie dokie, let me play Spotlight, here we go, and that's a wrap, there's a little dog, isn't it cute, so I'll have to make one with the darker colour as well, so that I can match my top, <laughs> so thank you for joining me, and I look forward to next week when we play with that offset, and I'll finish a card off tomorrow with the other one, so that's the other one that we've just played with, the pale version, so that worked out really well, so thank you everybody, ciao!